Hi, I'm Kevin Matthews, and I'm an orthodist with Advanced Orthopedic Designs, and we're getting ready to fit uh, bilateral KFOs or full leg braces with the up and about walking fixture uh, that is designed to maintain the legs in proper alignment uh, in ambulation for patients who suffer paraplegia. So, what this system does is when you don't have adequate hip abduction and adduction strength, meaning the muscles that move the leg from both out and in, when you're walking in just leg braces, you're at risk for one leg crossing in front of the other if you don't have that strength. What the up and about system does is maintain the abduction, preventing the leg from crossing in front of the other. This is an alternative design to a reciprocating gait orthoses, which is a much more bulky device, which includes a large pelvic band and uh, cables or a rocker bar that basically accomplishes the same thing. The, the RGO is a more stable system, but it is also a lot more bulky and more heavy, and this is an alternative. So basically how this works is this device clips on through a mounting plate here, and then this is the up and about system that's available through Cascade Orthopedic Supply. It was designed, I believe, in New Zealand or Australia, I think New Zealand. Just a very heavy duty stainless steel component. Um, we've already pre-fit these AFOs to this patient, a young woman who uh, was paralyzed in a motor vehicle accident and uh, she's getting married and she would like to be able to walk down the aisle when she gets married. So we're getting ready to put these on her and get her stand up and walk for the very first time. Yeah. Okay. okay, so this is Joanna and we've just put her KAFOs on and we're getting ready to lock the device in place. Um, what, what she'll do is attach one side and then you just rotate this and that will it will pop in and lock in place. And then the other side's a little more tricky. You gotta kind of line it up, get everything in there tight. And the top is always a little tricky. So all I did was reach in there and squeeze so it's locked in. And then twist that. Always make sure you twist that so that it works. Uh, could you stand behind her for me? Okay. This is Alberto Adame. He's a Baylor resident, doing his residency here, doing his master's in this. <clears throat> so what we want to do is, is lock out the knees, heel on the ground. So I want you to slide forward in the chair to where both heels are on the ground. Okay. And then now walk your hands up. And stand. Okay. Sorry, you got on my foot there. So, when you're standing, what you want to do, hold on, is shift your bottom forward. Okay, hold on. You good? Okay. So, you want to try to, in order to relax wearing these, if you shift your bottom forward and get your upper body back, you can kind of balance and even let go with your hands. So, if your hip flexors are a little tight, and they seem a little tight to me, uh, we want to try to get you, yeah, so can you, can you feel like you're kind of centered and balanced? So you shouldn't have to hold on for dear life with your hands if you stretch out those hip flexors and get your body to where you can rock back to the wide ligaments here that will allow you to rock back, rock back get your bottom forward and stand and, and basically without using any strength at all. Okay, to walk, what you're going to do is shift your weight to one side, kind of lean back, and that will almost automatically kick that foot out. Then do the shift your weight over that foot, lean back, and this leg will come through. So, uh, Albert, go ahead and put the chair on if you would. Let me know if you get tired at all, okay? Um, and Albert, I'm gonna have you walk behind her. I really don't see it. Uh, you need this. This is these usually walk very well. Okay. 
So yes, this is a hanger belt. I own it at a, at a meeting. It's my competition. But it's what I got. So he's just going to hold them back here in case you go down right. and he's going to make sure you go down on top of him. Okay? All right. So kind of shift your pelvis forward. Shift your weight over to one leg. There you go. Okay. And I want you to, you're putting your legs way out in front of you. I would like you to come forward over your legs. And you've got to stretch out those hip flexors. Okay? Shift your weight. Good. Come forward with this leg. Okay, you're working, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so what does it feel like to you? Um, I feel like I just need to get used to it. Okay. I mean, it's just new to me. Good. Um, all right, so now we're going to turn around. If, are you getting therapy? Mm -hmm. You have a, a place with, with parallel yes. bars? That's, that's where you want to practice, you know, to, get, to get good. And then you can go to forearm crutches or your walker forearm crutches are going to be the way to go. But you really want to be able to get to where you can really shift your bottom forward. And that way you're, you're stable. If you're bent forward, then you're using trunk muscles and everything and trying to fight to keep yourself erect. Whereas if you can get your body centered over your legs and, and not get your legs too far out in front of you, but keep your weight centered over each leg for each step you take, it'll be much easier. So we're going to turn around. So shift your weight over to this leg. Good. Now bring this leg forward a little bit. Your right leg. Good. Now, very good. All right. Fantastic. Okay. Can we come around the back? Look at everything. Good. Okay. Looks good. What was that? Come around. No, we're good. Okay. Now I want you to to do it again. Hold on to the bars because these are these aren't the most stable bars. Uh, Albert, if you would, Alberto. I got her. Okay. Good. Okay. How does everything feel so far? Good. Nothing hurt, uncomfortable? No, no, no. Okay. The fit looks very good. I don't see any issues with the fit. Um, you want to go again? One more time. Okay. Let's see your turn. There you go. Okay. Um, upper body strength, and I know you're strong, you know you work out, is important. Right. Uh, and now it's all about coordination, mm -hmm. weight shifting, balance. and balance, and getting your balance over your feet. You will do better and better and better really pretty quickly, as young and healthy as you are. With this system, there's a little bit of limitation in stride length, so she's not able to take larger steps. But really, in this situation, we really don't want her taking big steps. So if you can notice a lot of pelvic pivoting. That will smooth out as she gets better at this. But this is her first time walking in how long? Um, two and a half years. Two and a half years. Wonderful. Although they did do some walking and therapy with the immobilizers and they had her up. She showed me a video. But this is a, it's a very good system. It's a great system, in my opinion. The best system for adults. Because it's the lowest profile, there's nothing, no big, gaudy pelvic section up here uh, that really kind of gets in the way and interferes with seating and, and very difficult to put on, at least in my experience. I've done about, oh, maybe 10 or 12 of these, and every one of them has worked very well. Okay, probably getting tired. Let's go yeah. back. Um, yep. <clears throat> and you get to the end and turn around and I'll bring you. Sure. Did she get that bend her knees? No. Okay. No. Not while I'm standing. Yeah. Yeah. They make braces that do that if they're not consistent, and I never use them with a system.
So this is never going to be a fluid or smooth right, gate, right. but it's going to be to make the gate possible. Okay. Yes. Everybody can turn around. He's going to bring your chair. You have to turn around down. Okay. So now sitting is going to be a controlled fall when you're right. going back to your chair. So what you're going to need to do is basically kind of slide back till your bottom hits the chair. Carefully. Good. All right. Good. So, and then now all you need to do is unlock your knees. So you reach back here and grab the bail and unlock it and then do the other one. Good. And then now you're, you're now go ahead and kind of scoot yourself back. Take your leg up and put it on the, on, the, on the rest. Now this is going to be a problem with this particular chair. Because this holds your legs out, your legs have to be together. So what you'll want to do before you do anything is pop this off. So open these up. And just remember, you gotta you gotta open it, push down, and that will disengage it. Then push down. If it's bound up a little bit, it's a little harder to get off. But it, it really is a pretty smooth operating system. So when you put it on, you'll be in this position. And then once you get it on, you flip this up. Make sure you do that because it's not fully locked. It's, it's partially locked, but not fully locked. So each time you put it on, flip these up to where they're flush, not sticking out without that gap, right. okay? And then when you're ready to take them off, you flip it up and then push this down, down and then it pops off, okay? okay. So go ahead and position your legs in your chair. Typically, what, how, how people work with these is they wear the braces and they get where they're going or with it when they wanna walk, then you'll slide forward on the chair, apply the device, if you're wearing this under your clothing, you'll have to go into a restroom or something. And you'll have to pull your trousers down, clip it in place, then pull your trousers back up. Okay? But leggings are the best way to go. I am always in leggings. Yeah, okay. So what do you think? I love them. It's got to work Good. I'm glad you like them. Uh, let's go take this off. If you have, you got to keep an eye on your skin, so you don't want to wear these more than... 30 minutes to an hour at a time without checking your skin the first several times. And then you can slowly increase wear times, but we really want to watch the skin because you're a decreased sensation. Uh, the feet primarily, I don't, we, everything fits really pretty perfectly everywhere. But the, wherever the edges are, you'll have lines, redness should clear up within 20 or 30 minutes. Okay. 